In this video, you're going to learn the lessons that I've learned from publishing a best-selling book on Amazon, and I'm gonna share with you how to write a book and self-publish it step by step by step. So if you're interested in becoming an author and really getting your message out there, your stories out there, your impact out there, then this is the video for you. My name's Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com, and I have just recently announced my pre order of my book and it's gone straight to number one bestseller and I want to share with you behind the scenes on that I'm going to share with you exactly the process that I've followed and ultimately you can follow this process and get your story out there you can get your message out there you can be the author that you want to be so to begin with let's start with the the bigger picture why why do you want to be an author in the first place? Because when it comes to how to write a book, a lot of people, they, they may procrastinate. It might take them, you know, they, they're going to drag it out for years. People have been writing books for years. And the, the truth is, it all comes down to why. Why do you want to write the book? And if you drag this out and you, you, you don't find the time for it, you, you're maybe not in the state for it, you, you may have that that perfectionist syndrome where it's not quite right, you're never going to get that goal of actually becoming an author that you want to be. So for me, something that's really worked with me is the, the pain and pleasure principles. It's the concept where you've got to write down all the things that ultimately you are going to get from becoming that author, writing that book, all the pleasure that you're gonna get from that. So you're gonna be the author, you're gonna actually have the goal, you're gonna, what's it gonna do for your readers? What's the impact that you're gonna, that you're gonna have? How proud are you gonna feel when you've got the book that you've created, that you've put together? How are you going to feel if you know the, it is successful and you, you can get your name out there, you can build your own brand, you can, in today's age, you can self-publish and make a difference to other people, where you can like impact millions of people's lives. How's that going to make you feel from a, from a pleasure point of view? Really stack that up. Stack it up and stack it up and stack it up. Imagine how your family is going to feel. Imagine how your friends are going to feel. Imagine how proud you will be to finally get your book out there, that you are an author. And that gets you excited. It should get you excited. It should motivate you. It should give you goosebumps. I was thinking to myself, I would like to, in this year, I set myself a goal to go on a project to create what I call the tribe of arbitrages, which is basically I, I was wanting to interview people. I wanted to get out there, speak to people and write it into a book that I could publish out online because I know it's going to make a, a huge difference to my audience, my readers, where they're going to learn from different people. They're going to learn a, a little bit about me. They're going to learn about how to build an e-commerce business. And I really thought about that that and it got me excited it got me it got me goosebumps and that's why I set on this this sort of annual this year mission to write a book so that's what it should do it should make you want to get up earlier it should make you want to get out of bed it's uh, first thing in the morning it may it should make you want to um, not go to sleep at night you think from all the different elements that it can impact your life from, you know, it, it can make you passive income. It can make you income on the side. It can make you reach that, that the impact that you want. But then from a pain point of view, from you've got to stack the pain. What happens if you don't do this? What happens if you don't write the book? What will happen to you if you've got these ideas, you've got this creative thoughts, and you've got the you've got the the you know the creativity, this story to tell. You want to get your impact out there and you don't do it. How are you gonna feel in, in, in three years when that book is still not being written? How would that make you feel? What will happen to you if you don't get that story out? You don't make the impact. You don't, it's one of those big regrets in life where people, they've, they've always wanted to be an author or they want to, and 
Today's age, you can do anything. You can do your own recipes in books. You can do your own storytells, like whether that is like nursery stories or whether you want to help, like in self-help where you actually help people achieve a specific outcome. You know, what, what regret would you have if you don't create those stories? If you don't make that impact on somebody that maybe needs your help? Really stack that up. Really stack it up. How would you feel? You know, would you feel that you you haven't fulfilled your, your ultimate potential in life? The pain and pleasure principle is really, really useful to getting yourself out of bed in the morning, get off your ass and actually start doing this. And that's what I really did for myself. I was like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make it happen and I'm gonna do it now. Why? Because I wanna make a difference. I wanna make impact. I wanna get this story out. I wanna be an author. I wanna be proud. I wanna share my family. I wanna share my friends. And if I don't do this in five years time, I would regret it and I need to do it now and I need to make it happen. And this isn't about being perfectionist. This is about finding out why you want to do this. So that's really, really important. Then when it comes to actually writing the book, you've got to think about ultimately what your outcome is. Who, who, what is the, what is the book about? What is your audience? Like what is your, your reader? Who is your reader? Who are you talking to? Because before you get to the point where you're actually launching a book, you really need to build that audience. You really need to build somebody that you're launching to. It's not good enough just to write for a whole year, for a whole two years, write your book to publish and then not make any, you're not gonna, you, you may not make any sales. It, it's, it's too, you don't want to leave it for chance. You want to get it to the point where you're actually getting people excited about something. You're actually making a difference to people that are already interested. So you've got to build the audience. And the way you do that is share concepts of what's going to be in the book, okay? Just share the concepts of what's going to be in the book because that's going to make a, a real difference. You can use YouTube nowadays. You can use Instagram. You can use social media platforms when you are you're creating different articles and different stories and different um, elements of the book out there. What's going to happen is people are going to find you and people are going to naturally be interested with what you're saying. Okay, and that's gonna build that anticipation. That's gonna build that interest straight away without you having to ultimately, like you don't wanna just write your book and publish it out online and then there's nobody waiting for it. You're gonna to want to do it in this way where you're building a relationship. You're actually helping people. And I know for myself, when I announced this book, I was completely overwhelmed by so many pre-orders, people that got it straight away. That's why it's number one, it's sat there right now. Um, and this is all, you know, this is all being sort of weeks and months in advance, building up to the point where you can get to the point where you've, you've written the book and when you launch it, you've got people there ordering it already. Does that make sense? Okay. Because th this is ultimately what it's all about. You've got to think about when you're writing the book, where's the starting point for your reader? What's the starting point for somebody that comes in to what's the end point? What's the objective? And then if you think about it in this, then you gotta, you gotta do your best to put it into sort of chunks and that's what your chapters are, right? You're gonna make it into chunks where you're gonna have a flow of your book. And to me, I've, I've never been a writer. I really haven't. I've, I've never been a writer. I find it difficult to write. I've always wanted to be a writer. I've always found it a bit easier to be on like camera or on audio. Um, so I've, I've really struggled to write. So for me, because I'm, I'm not the best writer, I'm not perfect, I, I'm, I'm very, very, you know, I, my sentences sometimes don't make sense. Um, my, my spelling's maybe not right there. My grammar's certainly not there. I've never been a great student when it comes to English um, and, and actually the grammar and the punctuation and all the rest of it. I've never been there. So what I did was, okay, and what you could do, you could create different videos first. You could speak your story and then hire somebody to write and transcribe that for you. And you can then um, try to get yourself into a, a flow state. This is what certainly I've been doing over the last few weeks. Get yourself into a flow state where you are, 
you are going to, you've got to prepare yourself. Okay, this is a, a time where I'm going to write, I'm going to edit, or I'm going to do something, right? I'm going to create my book. And what you're going to want to do is set yourself up to, to be in that moment. So what I'll do is I'll maybe go for a run first, listen to a bit of music. I, I'm really into my inspirational music, sort of like the Rocky Balboas, the Gladiators, and all these things where like I've got this, you know, I've got this uh, Leonidas ornament right here, where um, it really inspires me, the, the, the whole story of 300 and, um, you know, that really in, inspires me. So I want to get myself into a real peak state it's where I'm motivated, I'm inspired to write this book. And then I sit down and I'm in like, I, I, I'm, a, I'm in a flow state. Okay, I'm in a, in a flow state and like, I'm not bothered about what comes out. I'm just gonna write it out, I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna get as much work as I possibly can and then it makes a real difference. And then you can commit yourself to a, a, a deadline a deadline's really, really important. You know, for, for me, I've, I've been sort of working on this, creating videos and creating different interviews and things for nine months. And I thought, you know what, I've got to get it done now. I've got to get it out there because it may not be 100% perfect, but do you know what? I want to achieve my goal and being an author. And I think you do too. So you've got to commit yourself to that deadline and go, do you know what? I'm going to make it happen. Hence why what I did is I created a pre-order. Now that's it pre-order a month away, I've got to make it happen. Okay, does it does that make sense? So what you're doing is you, you're manipulating yourself from the reasons why you're the, um, ultimately the, the pain, the pleasure, what, what it will mean to you, who you're trying to reach, you're trying to build people, you build a relationship first with people, you're trying to think of your, your starting point, your end point, get into a flow state and, and really make this happen. And then, and only then, you're at a position where you can get into the computer and actually start publishing your book. Okay, so if you got to this point, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into the computer now, I'm gonna share with you a little bit more behind the scenes on what I've done, what I'm actually publishing on, and then you can you can really get a start for, okay, these, this is what I need, this is what I need to get started with, and this is ultimately what you can do. And it's all free, everything's here, it is free. There's, there's maybe some paid options, but there, it is all free, so let's go check that out right now. Okay, so I've come onto Amazon and you can see Amazon bestsellers. You can see here this number one. This is my book. This is The Tribe of Arbitrages. Here's me as the author. But if I click onto the book, you can see it's got the, the bestseller tag, which is amazing to see. Bestseller, um, that orange tag right there. You can see it's got the cover, it's got the title, it's got all the description. And this is what you can do completely free and you can get to this point. You see there's a there's a pre-order right here. And um, it, it's actually, uh, you know, when, when I look at the best sellers, it's, it's fantastic to be a, in where it is. I mean, it's fantastic. It's just amazing to get to this point. So, okay, so let's, let's talk a little bit about what you ultimately need, right? First and foremost, you need you need the, the the book cover, right? You need a book cover. And there's a couple of things you can do when it comes to a book cover. You can hire a freelancer or you can do it yourself if you've got the skills. You can hire a freelancer. You can go on to something like a Fiverr. You can go on to something like a 99designs. So basically the way this looks is if you go on to Fiverr, and I've just searched for book cover here, uh, Fiverr's a great website easy to find different sort of freelance services. If you go to just book cover, you can see here, you can click onto here, there's different people that are willing to create books for you. And you there's different scores, there's different ratings, eight pounds and 48 pounds, and you've got 21 pounds. There's a lot of different people out there that are willing to help you, okay? But it all depends on what you want to do. There's also Upwork. So Upwork, this is where I actually found my graphics designer who is really, really high quality. It is a little bit more expensive than something like a Fiverr, but I believe that the, the quality does show. When you look at the book cover, I'm very, very happy with it, and it makes an impact, and it's great to, to have that little bit of extra quality because ultimately that's what it needs if you, if you, if you really want to um, really make a, that impact. Yeah, there's also this 99 Designs, which um, you, can, you can use for different, different works. Um, me personally, I haven't used this. I haven't used this site, but um, you know, my my graphics designer has, has spoken about it. He he recommends it. So this is something as well, right? So you've got 
the book cover. So think about that, think about what you're going to be creating, think about how you want it to look and get your get people involved in it. And, and you know, I went out and asked what what the people think about the different book covers, what do people think? And it's great to get that little bit of feedback, right? Because that's who you're going to be impacting in a part of the book. Then you may want to, um, a part of being an author, you, you can actually sign up to Author Central, okay? Author Central. And Author Central is where it allows you to have your own page as now an author. So you can see this is me. You can see you can do some author updates. So this, this is just, um, I've just put a couple of uh, photos of myself. Um, I've, I've put a, a video here, like in my about section of my blog, lifesuccessengineer.com forward slash about. There's got, I've got the, I've got the video there. I've got my full story from what I've done, where I've been. It's all on there. So um, a part of it, there is a, a, a video that I share. So what I did was I just uploaded it to Amazon and then anybody that goes onto the anybody that goes onto the um, the author page, they can they can learn a little bit about me. They can see a little bit of a bio right up here, and then they can click onto the book, right? So the book, you've got three different ways of publishing the book. You you can either just do it um, Kindle, you can do Kindle, you can do um, hardcover, you can do audiobooks, right? So in Kindle, you use KDP, right? So I've just come onto the Kindle Direct Publishing. This is my bookshelf and you can see this is the book. So right now you can see it's in pre-ordering because I've gone through it and I, and I click save and it's now in pre-order and I'll share with you how to get to this point. At this point here you can create the, the paperback as well which is slightly different. So when you look at the book you've got Kindle edition. You'll also have a hardcover edition and then you can go to something like an ACX and then you can create the audiobook as well, which I'm going to do a little bit later. So I may have a, a follow up of when I do those two. But for now, Kindle is, is where it's at. So you can see here, you can, you can sign up to your account, free account. Everything's free when it comes to Amazon. Amazon are fantastic. No longer, you don't have to go to a publisher. You don't have to do all these things. You can self-publish, right? And what you need is when you sign up, you're going to need to go into Kindle ebook. So this is exactly what I've done here. You go to Kindle ebook and then you just press plus. You have to get yourself signed in. And then once you're signed in, you can go through the process of creating the book details. So first of all, you got the book title. So if I just go, um, if I just keep flicking back and forth to this, so you can see it. So the book title, right? So there's, there's the book title. Um, and then you've got like this subtitle, which is, I've just put in um, a couple of subtitle headings, okay? Then what you've got is series number. If you've got, if you, if it's a part of a series, you may have like a, um, I don't know, Harry Potter type style sort of series. Um, it's completely up to yourself. Then edition number, so mine was edition one. And then you've got author, so you, there's yourself. That is the, the author that you've got there. Then you've got, um, if you've had any sort of contribution. And then the description, okay? so. Here's the description tab. This is the box for the description. So at this point here, that this is what you see in the description. So if I was just to copy this so you can just quickly see it. This is what you'd see in the description. Now, if you was just to publish it like this, it would just be standard text. So if you wanted to have like bold and like headlines, or if you want italics, the best thing to do is just Google um, uh, KDP, uh, formatting, but the way it basically looks is you've got to you got to know some sort of formatting. So if you want to go bold, you've got to put like this sort of formatting thing here, um, and then you've got to put like a, a backslash as well. Okay, so um, you want to get that formatting right. So and then you've got like headlines. Uh, so if you go H two for example, this is just telling Amazon what it, what you want it to look like on the page, and it's really straightforward. Just go to um, just Google KDP uh, formatting code and it will come out. And then italics, let's say you wanted something italics, it just be sort of an I. Um, you can do bold italics. You can do many different sort of elements. So you can see here I've got like bold headline, just normal text, bold italics, bold, you know, see, so, so you get the point. You can sort of see, you can see how that looks. 
Okay, then do you own the, the copyrights or not? So click on there. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to put like in a title name one. Just gonna have to put in a name just to go through it as draft and then I will end up sort of deleting this. But then keywords, you can put in whatever keywords you want, uh, whatever your book's all about. Hence why I was saying about who you who you're trying to target, who you actually who who do you want to find your book? So if somebody was to I mean this is an interesting example. So if somebody was to search for uh, you know online arbitrage. I don't know whether, oh, I'm, I'm right at the top, look. <laughs> Searched right at the top for online arbitrage. So it's right there. So you can see it's the best seller. Um, if you was to put, it'd be interesting to put retail arbitrage. Um, you can see I'm, I'm on the, the first page here. So people that are interested in my topics, this is ultimately where you might be able to see it. So if I was to put wholesale I'm not sure whether wholesale would just work, but wholesale Amazon FBA or something. I'm, I'm right at the top. Okay, so um, this is ultimately how Amazon works. It's a search engine. So you've got to put keywords in what people are searching for. Enter seven search keywords that describes your book. And Amazon, they're gonna look, it's gonna look at what you're actually saying in here, right? It's gonna look at what you're actually saying. What sort of keywords? Amazon, they're, they're always looking at this, right? Then you can set categories. Okay, so you can set your categories, whatever category you're selling in. Uh, for me, it was like e-commerce. It was like online business, that sort of thing. Then you can put in the minimum, um, the you know the minimum age. So might be plus 18, um, whatever you ultimately want. Then you can do pre-order. This is what I did. So I, I wanted to pre-order it. So... Uh, I put the 22nd, um, you can put as many, I would use all these keywords, okay, go through, um, let me go through and I'll put in uh, business, then I believe I did something like e-commerce and, you know, you can do online trading or something. Uh, they've got different categories, of course. Then you can click continue and then it'll say done. And then you can start to look at a little bit more here. You can upload the file. Okay, if there's a, if there's, um, if you've got the book itself, you can do the book in sort of Word. You can do the book in, um, uh, you've got a format, so you're gonna have to do it in Word. You can do it in, for example, um, uh, just do it in Google Docs, for example. I'm gonna use sort of like Grammarly. So Grammarly is to make sure, because I'm I'm not the best when it comes to sort of grammar or spelling or things like that. It's completely up to you. Don't let it sort of, you know, don't let it put you off. Don't let it sort of put you off writing. Write as quickly as you can. Use something like a Grammarly. It's free, you can use it, and it's, it's really quite good. You can upload the cover, then you can preview it to see what it looks like. You're gonna have to do some formatting to make sure it's got page breaks and things, um, which I'm not gonna go into at this point because I'd have to go into the book and show you all that. But uh, then you can do the publisher. So that was me. Okay, and then you can sort of save and continue. If it will allow me to continue, it might not because I have, oh, here we go. I'll upload the file later and then save and continue. Then you can see where am I going to sell it at. So all ter ter territories worldwide, what royalty that you want. So if you're going to do sort of 70, it needs to go higher price. If you're just doing 35, like start with 99 um, cents, other marketplaces, you can sell it wherever you want in the different marketplaces around the world. India, UK, Germany, France, uh, Spain, Italy. Um, it, it's, it's really quite it's really quite amazing when you think about you can self-publish in this way. If you want it to do matchbook or lending, or you just click to pre-order. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do pre-order. Obviously, I've just gone through this quite quickly. But the goal is just to share with you how easy this has been. So if I um but, you know, if, if I wanted to release another book, that's all I would do. And that's all I've pretty much done uh, to get to this point. Now, 
There is, as I mentioned, there is that sort of additional thing here where you need to launch it. And this is where you need to make a difference to people. This is where you need to um, attract people to you. So over the last couple of years, I've been really trying to support as many people as I can a part of my brand, Life Success Engineer, which allowed me then to build an email list and be able to launch a giveaway, a special book launch giveaway. And it's really helped me propel the book further than it would do if I just published it, right? So in this, you can see I've done a, um, I did an announcement video. I did a, a bonus if this, you know, if somebody supports the book, you can see I've, I've got a great write up about what the book is all about. I've got like bonuses, some guaranteed bonuses if they support, as well as like a prize giveaway. You can see at this point over 450 entries uh, with, 200, uh, with 22 days left, giving away lots of great prizes. If it sounds great, click onto the, to purchase the book and away they go and they'll be able to purchase it. And that is how you can really sell. You can really generate that, that excitement around your book. And that's how you can really make it happen for yourself. So if this has been interesting, I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. Are you an aspiring author? Have you got to this point? How are you getting on? What are you using? I'd love to know in that description down below. But the goal is here. Don't be a perfectionist. Get taking massive action on it. Use, you know, get your get a book design from something like a Fiverr or your own um, your own sort of freelance. I've got a graphics designer in the team. Um, if you if you want to maybe get some transcribed where you you are talking and somebody's transcribing for you, it's so great to do this. But be very very um, just be conscious of putting yourself a deadline. Get yourself a deadline. Take massive action on this and make it happen. So, if if this is in, if this has been enjoyable, hit that like button. I'd love to know your thoughts in the description below. If you've got any, if you need any help whatsoever, get in the description below. Um, I'll put a link to the book that I've published. So if you wanted to support that, you can do. Um, I'll I'll put links in the description to any additional resources that I have for you. Um, you sign up to that. Get get access to the resources. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate. And uh, yeah, that's how you you publish a best selling book. My name is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com, inspiring you every single day to keep taking massive action on your business in your life. If you want to be a, if you want to be an author on how to write a book and all the rest of it, then I'm here to support you. So take care, keep taking massive action, and I'll speak to you next time. Cheers.